YouTube, what is going on today? It's your boy Black and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your microphone sound better using Streamlabs OBS. If you use OBS Studios, it is the exact same process, so you just have to follow along. Hey y'all, come look at this. So guys, this are my microphone sounds without my filters. My keyboard is very loud, there's a lot of background noise and you know, everything is kind of messy, but when I turn them on, keyboard noise kind of reduced, background noise kind of so reduced and it makes everything perfect oh my god wow so as you might already know getting a decent audio is very important in content creation and live streaming since the main focus here is the interaction with your audience you want to make sure you're not sounding too loud or too low you just want to make sure they can hear you clearly honestly if you are live streaming with a crappy audio where you have dogs barking in the background you have your keyboard clicks making all the noises you have your mouse clicks all over the place and we have the fans from your pc all making the noises bro it's gonna be hard for people to watch you that is why i brought you this video today to help you reduce the background noises and make you sound a lot more professional so if you like this video don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to this channel we are so close to a 500 subscriber go please help me get there subscribe talking on live streaming i stream over at twitch.tv slash black underscore attitude go leave a follow over there so you get a notification and next time i go live i'm not gonna waste my time let's get straight into the video Alright guys, so Streamlabs is opened and what we are going to do to reduce our background noise and make our microphone sound better is to add filters to our microphone. So first, if you don't have your microphone selected, you want to go over to this thingy right here, go to the properties, select your microphone and click done. Then I click on it again, go to the filters, this is where we are going to be applying our filters to make our microphone sound better. So I'm going to click this plus thingy here and the first filter we want to add is the noise suppression. What this does is it reduces the background noise and makes everything sound better. So we have a couple of choices here. We have this higher quality choice. We have this lower CPU usage. If you have a low end CPU, you're already struggling with streaming and gaming and all that stuff. You want to use this option. So with this noise suppression slider, all you have to do is to drag this all the way to the right. Make sure you have this option turned on where you can hear yourself when you're talking you're gonna want to switch this over to monitor and output so, so you can, can hear yourself, yourself and i can, can hear myself, myself and it's, it's kind of weird, weird. So i'm gonna switch, switch back. back but that's what you want to do after setting that and go back to filters you slide this all the way to the left so you can't hear those noises again so if you have some fans running in your background keep talking and keep sliding this all the way to the left so you can't hear that sound anymore but be careful of this if you have a very loud background noise and keep sliding this all the way to the left your voice is gonna be breaking your voice is gonna be very weird it's gonna be like oh, 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 oh. like you're choking yeah that's what's gonna sound on the other hand if you have a very high end cpu you wanna select this option instead the rn noise high quality it kind of works i don't know how it does but it works it reduces the background noise and uh, it makes your microphone sound a bit better so we've reduced our background noise and the next thing we're gonna want to do now is to make sure our microphone is not too loud all too low you just want to make sure it is in a very medium position where our sound is very clear you know if you're streaming sometimes you could be so excited and you want to scream you're going to make sure your microphone is not too loud when you do that and there could be times on streams where you can talk very low and you want to make sure your microphone picks that as well like it's doing now so this is where our compressor and our expander filters come into play so first we're going to add the compressor filter and just click done to add a compressor filter so once this is opened up you want to set your ratio between four to six inclusive depending on the background noise that you have i have a very loud background noise so i'm gonna keep mine at six i'm gonna set my attack to four but if your background noise is not so loud you want to keep your ratio at four and your attack at two but a release is always going to be a hundred so once you have set your ratio attack and release the main thing we're going to focus on right now is our threshold and our output gain so what the threshold does is it sets a limit to how loud you can sound on stream if i'm talking so loud right now you can see it is peaking into the red you don't want that you want it to be in the yellow that's we want it to be balanced so we're going to move the slider all the way to the left so it is in the yellow so you're talking so loud you're talking so loud right now so i'm talking hello 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 i just want to move it all the way to the left so it gets in the yellow when i'm still talking loud hello and i think i like it i like it like this so i'm gonna leave it at minus 32.4 and the next thing i want to set up right now is our output gain so as i said earlier there could be times in the streams where you could talk a bit quieter but i still want those sounds to be heard so we're gonna adjust our output gain in such a way that our small voices are boosted and just to make sure it doesn't enter into the red meaning it's too loud so i'm gonna move it a bit lower to maybe 14 14 should be good it is in the yellow 
so I think this is good. But this also means that small sounds such as your keyboard or your mouse clicks will also be heard. So this is where the expander comes in. I'm gonna add the expander real quick. Click on done to add the expander. I'm gonna set the ratio and attack the same as a compressor. So ours was six and make the attack four. And the release is gonna be 100 as usual. After setting the ratio, attack and release, all you have to do now is to move this threshold all the way to the left. And this time you're gonna be quiet and assume you're not speaking on stream, you're just enjoying our game quietly. So we're gonna move this threshold slowly to the right while making some clicks on our keyboard or typing something until our microphone is no longer triggered by the sounds from this keyboard. And when that happens, this bar over here becomes blank. So after adding these three filters, you're almost ready to go professional, but you're gonna add one more filter that will make our voice sound juicy. That is a voice effect. So we're gonna click on this plus thingy right here and select the VST plugin. So VST plugin is added and this option allows you to select a plugin, but you're not gonna see anything over here because you don't have Marvel GQ installed. So we're gonna install it real quick. The link will be in the description or you can simply go into your browser and type Marvel GQ. And the first link that comes over, we're gonna click on the first link and you see over here, download VST for Windows. We're gonna click on it real quick to download. I already have it installed, so I'm just not going to install it again. Go through the installation process. Then after you have to restart your OBS and you're gonna see that plugin here. If you don't see it over here, you have to restart your PC and it should work out right. So once you have Marvel GQ over here, you're gonna select it real quick. Then we have to open plugin interface. We don't have anything set, but there's a lot of presets you can work around with. We're gonna select the brighter and bassy. This makes your voice a bit heavier and makes your voice sound a bit warmer, you know? We're just gonna click activate. So this preset is pretty good and balanced, but if you have a very bassy voice and you want to make your voice sound a bit lighter, you can increase this are your higher frequencies, these are your mid-tones, these are your bassy voices. So you wanna increase this a bit if you have a very loud or, you know, a very bassy voice, you wanna increase this a bit and reduce the bass side a bit as well and uh kind of adjust this to your preference if you know what i mean so guys this are my microphone sounds without my filters my keyboard is very loud there's a lot of background noise and you know everything is kind of messy but when i turn them on keyboard noise is kind of reduced background noise is kind of so reduced and it makes everything perfect so that's it guys that was a decent professional audio setup if this video really helped you don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to this channel as I said earlier, we're so close to our 500 subscriber goal. Please help us get there. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, comments, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to hear them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Black. And I'm out. Oh my god. One enemy remaining. Beautiful. Spike planted. Oh, black, yeah, yeah, this is better.